Another late night hangout on Reverb got me again. If you guys have followed the channel, you know how much of a wah-wah pedal junkie I am. And I came across this uh, old box. It's a script bottom plate. And they call these a script waz because the script signature, uh, the other ones were called the picture waz. I have a, a really early picture waz, number 51, uh, that had the same components in this one. Uh, quite the same inductor, the same capacitor setup. And uh, I made a bid on it and I got it. The reason it. why I bought this was because that wah that I have, that picture wah that I have with those components is just my absolute favorite. <laughs> said all right man maybe i'll be able to have both of them that recreate that sound this is just be a great counterpart you know one being a picture one being a script and when i got it i noticed that this wawa has a real vowel grovelly tone up top it's not as really toe down stingy like some of you know the other tones maybe some of the tones that that number 51 picture wah possesses but just picking this up and playing through it and adjusting the pot a little bit and inspired me to uh I don't know, listen to some Hendrix records and really some stuff like, you know, Burning of the Midnight Lamp and Up From the Skies. Some of those real kind of muffled but very gainy wah-wah tones. Uh, to me, my ears, this wah-wah did it in spades. So I figured I'd just give you guys a little uh, Burning of the Midnight Lamp lick lesson. Favorite songs to try when testing a wah-wah. It's either that or voodoo or some cream stuff or even some funk stuff. You know, I really, really enjoy wah-wah pedals. I have a bunch of these and I only buy them because each one of them, I swear, I know some people can't register it, but they all sound different. I have trash cans, I have halo inductors. I really, really prefer these wahs with an iCar pot. So yeah, check out this lick lesson. I had to edit it a little funky because of, uh, you know, I didn't want to get copyrighted, but you guys can decipher it out and it's, a, it's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite Wawa -Wah songs and I hope you dig it. All right, so first things first, just to get into the gear, uh, 59 Strat, and then I'm using a Wawa -Wah pedal that I talked about in the beginning, and also a really cool old 60s Zonk Fuzz that I bought and restored with the help of my good buddy Joel at JW Restoration and Jim Roth. So, so you know, the reason why I was inspired by that song is because of this uh, throaty quality you kind of hear people talk about when they talk about wah-wah pedals. And this one has it uh, in spades. You can hear it a lot on Burning in the Midnight Lamp, but you can also hear it on... Um... But it's that real kind of gravel like vol you know vol <laughs> So we'll get into the lick right now and I'll show you guys how to run through it. Uh, it's kind of confusing, but pay attention to the pattern that keeps happening over here on the third fret. He does a call and response to the chord he's playing over, whether it be, you know... But he's all 
also returning to the same starting point. And I feel like, you know, with that song especially, Hendrix kind of had two wah-wah tones. He had that real kind of... But he also had that really, really sweet... Uh... So... That's what inspired me for that tone. That's why I wanted to do this video because I really heard a lot of that burning in the midnight lamp tone. So we're gonna get into that lick and I'll take you guys along. Check it. So you'll hear something like this. <laughs> Looking at the chords over that first, you have C to F to B flat back to C. So just imagine yourself playing over that and you can basically give yourself a guideline because the riff, it follows the same pattern but a few notes change up. So again, we got... So looking at the riff, here we go. I'll play it uh, with the wah wah off, so you can kind of just uh, hear it better. But so we're gonna go uh, low E string on the third fret to A string on the third fret to D string on the third fret to the second back to the third on the A. So that's that first part over the C chord. Then we're gonna go to our next chord, which would have been the F. So at the end of that, we strike the F, and then we go right back to the D string at the third fret. Back up to the A string on the third fret. And that is a note that is just a sliding note, but when the wah wah is on, you go. So far, we have. That next chord is the B flat. D string at the third. Second, A string at the third, slide to the fifth, and then resolve on the seventh. And then he just does a. So that's seven, eight, seven, five, back to seven. So mushing that all together. That first part, remember, we're dealing with a C. So there's a bit of a Hendrix lick lesson, uh, and like I said too, in my past videos, I've showed how to adjust the the pot to kind of get that range where you want to, you don't want to be so spiky and trebly, but you just kind of want to be deep and growl like. So uh, if you check one of those Wawa videos out, I've, I've spoken about adjusting the pot to find a good sweep range. And yeah, uh, I had to kind of edit it in a funky way so I wouldn't get copyrighted, but there's a Hendrix lick. I know you guys have asked for some Hendrix stuff. Uh, maybe it's something I could figure out how to do more often. 
I have a lot of fun with Jimmy's stuff, and uh, I'd like to share it with you guys if you want. But we'll talk soon, guys. Thanks. Peace. <laughs>